Okay, so let me introduce the players in game number two. Spawning in the top left corner of the map, King Zhejiang Station, we find a blue Terran player for Skillforge. It is Basior. And for the second game, my insanity has sent out the red Zerg in the bottom right hand corner of the map. It is going to be Rainer. And Rainer is definitely one of the. Well. One of the strongest Zerg players, I would even say, in Europe. He has been uh, performing very well and definitely has caused some upsets. I believe in, uh, what was it, Nation Wars, he uh, got some really got good upsets a few months back. Um, yeah, Nation Wars actually a lot of upsets, whether it's Iki, um, played there. I don't remember all of the player, player names, but yeah, a lot of upsets. He might actually even did play there. I think he's exactly. Italian, young Italian, but oh, yes. look at this. Shenanigans. Yep, and the second SUV as well. So, Bass is going to open up with a 2 racks versus a 15 hatch from Reno. Or is, no, it's going to be a 14 pool. Oh, but he's still, playing it careful. Yep. But he doesn't know about this, and his two overlords going to send out in totally di different directions. So, ba Bass is going to start really really aggressive and as I just said he's gonna play aggressive or at least we thought that even though Reno is gonna play aggressive and react now Bass is gonna play aggressive and react and uh oh this drone scout is gonna be sent out so let's oh, see where he knows that something is up he uh well at least he suspects that something is up he is playing extremely yeah. careful but he's not gonna find those barracks and the SUV is now going to get spotted. I'm not quite sure how big of a tell this is because the Overlord did not see that SUV come across the map. But of course, the next part of this uh, attack from Basir is going to be that he wants to get his bunker up. And let's yep, see if he's so going Basir, to be able to do that. Yep, so Basir is going to fake scout technically. But look at his 6 serving from Rainer. He suspect, suspects that something isn't coming. But also two gathered from him. So he most likely know that there's something incoming actually proves a lot of drones so uh oh yeah this is Bassier. a big commitment he knows yeah so now oh now he's gonna try to start up his marine backwards try to fire maybe the second with a nice surround from Reno gonna try to get all of them but now with the amazing startups from Reno I'm sorry from Bastia he's gonna start to get back to the barracks and kill a lot of the uh, jugglings not perfect engagement from Ooh, a few of those wow. marines is he really gonna hold this off? Because he only has one more Zergling left. Now he's just gonna lift up and... Well, how many... Did he get any drones with that? Re Rainer killed four workers, of course, those four SUVs. And Basir killed one. And, well, he's still in a great position right now. That natural base for Rainer is gonna go up. Yeah, and, and I mean, he's three workers behind. And it's gonna be hard to, to uh, play from this position. Even though his opponent... Did uh, there's a quite a lot of mining time on his uh, obviously workers, but now he's gonna have a hard time to defend back home. No more range out in the map quite yet. This uh, commander is gonna try to block those zerglings, but it's gonna be hard for him. Exactly, those barracks are also not producing anything for quite some time, and those uh, that command center, as it is building, you cannot repair it. So if it gets down to zero HP, it's gonna get you know, killed off. Those Zerglings, they are going to force some lost mining time from those SEVs as well. At least there is an Orbital Command here, which is still pretty normal, luckily. But he really needs those Marines from those barracks very quickly. Yep, so now the Commander is going to get really low. And notice this, Reno did get 100 minerals and then stop mining gas. And now um, a Marine pops out and looks like Reno won't manage to breach this. Now, oh, now the, oh, the commander is finished. Now he's gonna repair it. Yeah, yeah it, now it's the already repair. burning when it's finished. That's a, that's a great contractor you have there, uh, Bazior. You get one of the SUVs to finish a building, and he is gonna say, "Okay, it's done," but it's already burning at that point. That's uh, yep. That's not a great contractor. But yeah, a lot of zerglings at the bottom of that ramp will make sure that Basir cannot move out. He's not going to have map control anytime soon because he's going to need Hellions for that if there is uh, going to be any map control whatsoever. 
So I really like that Basir is just putting down that third command center because I don't think that you can fight for map control at this point. You just need to get those units out there, take your natural base, turtle up a little bit and go for your third base relatively quickly after that and just stay a little bit defensive maybe and go for those drops in the later stage. Yeah, more definitely, but now gonna with this fast juggling speed out on the map, he's gonna make ba uh, make Basir's second base a little bit uh, harder to take. Juggling the speed, obviously, on the ground, gonna slaughter the range, so he's gonna try to put a bunker up in the front and take the command center. Um, but all oh, these jugglings won't allow him to do that and manage to get one speed. Oh, now the wall oh, is breached. The command yeah. center was lifted up, so there's no full wall up going on there, and that's a lot of speedlings inside the base. Wow. There's gonna be the GG. No way that you're gonna be able to hold. 